It's the Midweek Roundup. Hey up folks and welcome to the Midweek Roundup. The second of our video Midweek Roundups, shaking it up a little bit and this week we've got Rob with us as well. Hello. You should have said special guest. Oh sorry, our very special guest. That's better, yeah. yeah. Um, we thought it'd be interesting to have a different guest each week when available to sh- to bounce off each other and, and get some other opinions on your wonderful paintings. And just to be clear, you're only going to show me goblins. Um, not only am I going to show you just goblins, I'm yeah. only going to show you your goblins. Oh, fantastic, yeah. Great. And I'm going to critique them. Uh, mm, okay. Uh, mm, I'm not so sure now. Oh, okay. So, first up, we have got Andy Ransom with his Infernox. Really nice uh, paint job there. A lot of uh, interesting dry brushing to highlight the uh, the rocks and the molten lava. Really interesting base as well. Really like the uh, the base technique when you take the pieces of cork and layer them up like that. Yeah, yeah, and, and Andy's famous for painting a lot of orange. Yeah, yeah, Andy two D six as well. He's got his own YouTube channel. If people want to check that out. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's nice to see that he's carried on the theme there. Uh, and I guess this is for his, obviously, he's the Bristol Dwarf Army, yep. or mm-hmm. Kings of War. He's recently been painting some uh, Forge Fathers as well. Oh, lovely. In orange. I, no, I, actually, no. I think they were pink. Oh. So he diverted oh. away. <laughs> we got next? We've got Billy Capgun uh, next. This is uh, talking of Forge Fathers. Um, it's the, like I knew that. It was, yeah. The, we linked it together. Uh, Artificer Juggernaut. And fantastic on the the base with the uh, the smashing rocks and uh, the off source lighting, I guess on on there with the the purple, really really nice and a bit of orange on it. Yeah, but well, <laughs> is that the theme of this today's? It's orange. T- today's theme is orange. Yeah, okay, why good. Not? They better be all now until orange. it's not. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> I must admit, I love the the juggernaut. I think that's for me is one of the real key models in the Forge Fathers. I, I mean, I like the Iron Ancestor as well, but. Actually, compared to this, it looks a bit dinky. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's a really nice model, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this uh, is a really beefy one. So, yeah, to see it painted up is really nice. Mm. And uh, it's very good in the game as well, Yeah, if people have got it. Yeah, mm-hmm. in Firefight and in uh, Dead Zone. In Dead Zone as well, yeah. Yeah, I need to get mine on the table, actually. Yeah. Oh, we're uh, talking to Dead Zone. Oh, oh. Sorry, can I do a teaser? Go on, oh, go not a teaser, it. a promotion. If you, are, uh, if you want to come to the Dead Zone UK Championships, yeah. that's on the 10th and 11th of September. We've still got some tickets. And so people, obviously Billy can't, because I think he's in the US. Ah. Like, I mean, he could fly over. Yeah. International representation. Sure. Uh, but yeah, so there's still tickets, so people want to come. Okay, and that's on the website, isn't it? On the yep. events page. Yep, there yep. we go. Sorry to uh, sabotage your... No, it's absolutely fine. Maybe round up there. It's important that we get this information out there. We've got yellow. I'll, t- I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. This is the Vimin Tunneler. Uh, this is by L Blass. And go check them out on Instagram. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce going to ask if you're going to the uh, Instagram name Blast Bunny Brush, maybe or Blaz Four sure. L. Yeah. Um, really, really like the uh, the effect on uh, this tunnel runner, the uh, the damage, the chipping, and that sort of thing. It's really, really nicely painted, and the uh, the basing with the barbed mm-hmm. wire and everything as well really adds to it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. This is another really iconic sort of miniature. I think for mm-hmm. the, I think you've got probably the. You've got this, and then maybe the tunneler as well. But I think, yeah, tunnel runners also absolutely fantastic in firefight. Yep. I think you need at least five. At least. Yeah, I'd yeah. say yeah. No self-respecting <laughs> broodmother leaves without at no. least five. Um, yeah. So I think I guess if this is for was this for dead zone or was this for firefight? Do you know? Uh, I'm not sure to be honest. Okay. Um, let's both. Assume. Okay. Let's yeah, assume cool. both. Let's yeah, assume. but I think uh, there'll be a lot more then. Yeah. If it's going to be for firefight, five yeah. easily. Easily. No orange. Well, the, the bags are, <laughs> well, it's yellow on the jacket, is it? Uh, yes, yeah, it's like that okay. sort of well, uh, light leather. You could say it's a very dark orange on yeah. the balloon. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, let's take it. <laughs> take it. Take it where you can, Johnny. Uh, Dan Bird's painted up this uh, halfling. It's uh, fantastic. I really like how the uh, balloon actually looks like it's got air in it. The way he's done the highlights and the mm. shadows in the in the greens and the reds. It's really really nice. Yeah, I've seen a few of Dan's. Uh, uh, halflings on Twitter, I think. I think he's been. Yeah, he's got those. quite a, a large army now. Hasn't yeah. He? So uh, yeah, I think aeronauts again. We're talking about those iconic ones. I think this is certainly one for the for the halflings. Mm. Um, again, very good in game. That's probably why he's painting up them, yep. so many of them. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think 
for me, I, I really like these. I converted one of these for my goblins. So we were, we were close with goblins. We're getting there. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, really nice model. And again, you know, Dan's done a great job there. Yeah. I think the leather effects on the bag is really good. And like you say, the wood on the on there is really good. Yeah, cool. the wood's actually really yeah, good. Yeah. It's very realistic looking, yeah. yeah. So, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of those. Yeah. Seeing that army finished. And then we've got Dylan's plague army. Dylan is Cleric's son who works for us. Um, there it was for us, not Dylan. Um, <laughs> yeah, no child labour. Not, not yet. <laughs> um, um, he's super proud of uh, getting his plague force for Dead Zone and Firefights uh, all painted up and completed. And uh, I think you'll agree it's a fantastic job. Um, be taking over his dad soon. <laughs> I mean, he's, I, mean I, don't, well, I don't think soon. I think that's well, actually I legit. Say, he's already a better player. So I'm trying to think because uh, I played at a firefight tournament recently and Dylan was there. He was playing GCPS that one. Yeah. Very, very good player. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't remember if he beat his, if he came above his dad or not. But yeah, really good. Let's say he did. Yeah, that, yeah let's assume he did. Um, we made the rules. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think Dylan's really good. He's really into firefight as well, so it's nice to see, uh, nice to see this coming along. Yeah, let's see youngsters getting involved. Yep. Yeah. And we got uh, Yui Turner with a Strider for the Maison Labs. I think really, really nice uh, paint scheme with this. Like the uh, the contrasting colours and uh, very nice sharp crisp base as well, and that sort of indoor urban feel to the mm. to the base. Yeah, I like like I say the gun's really good. It kind of stands out, so you can really see that. I think the base. I, I do like it when people do different bases for mm. for Dead Zone. I think actually sometimes you've got to be careful about not making them too high or making them too decorative. So I think actually this sort yeah. of thing where you can kind of make it look like a a kind of a uh, hangar bay or something yeah, is yeah. actually really effective. So, yeah, really cool. And I think having the gun yellow as well just helps it sort of tie in with the base as well, yeah. the hazard stripes, doesn't it? And then makes it sort of pop as well rather than being all black. Yeah. Another one where I look forward to seeing the whole kind of strike team with that yeah. basing, see, uh, see what they look like. But yeah, very yeah, really good. Nice. Yeah, nice. And we've got Joe McLaren, his tree herder. It's really interesting, this. Um, the tree herder itself is, is, I guess you'd almost say it's a, Autumn deciduous tree. Um, it's, wow. it's got some some leaves on that's it. That's your degree so coming. That's into, my degree yeah. in horticulture coming through. Yeah, um, it's not got a lot of leaves on it, so it's quite interesting to see someone take some flock and uh, bush it out a little mm. bit. Looks really nice, and then uh, nice sort of eerie uh, eyes as well with that sort of icy blue. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's it. Nice. Actually, really, it's simple but incredibly effective. Actually, yeah. that to add the, some of the, the flock on as yeah. well. So. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I don't think I've seen anyone do that. No, I don't. I'm going to go on a limb there and say uh, it really stood out. Yeah, Joe is the first person yeah. ever to do this. He's a pine and he near. Oh, fantastic! I <laughs> bet people will take a leaf out of his book <laughs> yeah, now. They will. Yes. Yeah. Should we carry, should we stop there? The, yeah. We'll, oh, otherwise, okay. we'll be barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> Steve, Mr. Shackleford, he's been finishing off his plague force with a lot of leapers. So they've been painting these for a little while because they are the old leapers. Still very nice models. Would highly recommend upgrading and getting the nice snazzy new resin leapers though because they are stunning. Mm. Um, really, really nice uh, paint job. Really, uh, I like how all of them have been painted so closely matched to each mm. other. If that makes sense, like this, uh, it's a really neat job. I think he's done a lot of reposing as well on quite a lot of these, hasn't he? Because not all they're not they're most of them. You've got the one leaping over yeah. the barrier. You've got the one that looks like he's really sad. He's crying. Yeah, that's one of Andy Ransom's. I think actually he kind of painted him. He's really <laughs> sad. But um, I, I must admit, I've seen quite a lot of Rusty's different armies. You know, mm. he's uh, he's got ones for Kings of War as well. I think Abyssal Dwarfs uh, and Dwarfs, and I really like his painting style. Yeah. I think it's really distinctive. You can always kind of tell when it's one of Rusty's. Yeah. So um, yeah, this looks really good. I it's really very, like it's always very high contrast, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. These look great. Yeah. That's it for this week, folks. Been some really excellent paint jobs, and I've really enjoyed the basing this week as well. Been some uh, some top top work. So uh, it's all about the base. Everybody. It's all about the base. And on that note, <laughs> you say you've um, enjoyed having me on, Johnny, as well. I, I have enjoyed being here next to Rob. Thank you. And uh, we'll thank thank Rob for his wonderful opinions, and hopefully find him some goblins for the next time we get him on. Next week, we'll try and get another different guest on, and hopefully we'll have lots more paintings to show. Thanks, guys. Bye.